Welcome back to Basic Customs. Today we'll be unboxing the Energy Audio Champ 7000.4 amplifier. This is a 4 channel amplifier that's stable at 4 ohms. It is a class AB amplifier with a high efficiency MOSFET power supply and variable low pass and high pass crossovers. Um, the top and the front of the packaging has the same information and then the two sides left and right feature the same information. Now something I like about this packaging is that they don't rub the peak power ratings in your face. I don't think there's a peak power rating anywhere <laughs> on this box actually. So this is the back of the box with the RMS ratings rated at 100 watt per channel at 4 ohms or bridge 300 watts at 4 ohms for a single SVC subwoofer. Moving on to the inside of the box, when you open the box, you greet it with this Ziploc bag which contains the mounting screws, a sticker, a warranty card and the owner's manual. Now one of my biggest pet peeves um, about this amplifier is the fact that the sticker, the energy audio sticker is so dull. Um, I hate the fact that it's a whole white sticker instead of just the oval with the energy audio branding in it. Moving on, we have the warranty card. Not something I'm really gonna make use of, um, but if it's something you would use, please do so. Next up, we have the mounting screws and also two extra fuses in case um, something should go wrong during installation, like a short circuit or something like that. Last but not least, we have the owner's manual. Um, in the owner, in the owner's manual, you'll find um, instructions on how to set up the amplifier. Um, I'd also like you to take note that you will need 8 gauge or higher to install this amplifier, so 8 gauge wiring kit or higher. Um, here's the different types of ways you can set up this amplifier. I specifically am going to be running it in 3 channel mode with a sub on the rear channels and then two component speakers in front. Here's the specs of the amplifier. If you want to read more, you can just pause the video here. I'll also leave it in the description down below. Now, moving on to the actual unboxing um, of the amplifier itself. We see that there's a box within the box. Um, this is basically just to keep the amplifier from shifting around in its packaging. To remove it, you just pop up these two tabs and you slide the amplifier right out. The amplifier itself is in some sort of plastic um, covering. Uh, this is just a dust cover as far as, as I know it is not an anti-static bag by no means and here we have the amplifier itself I'm really a big fan of what energy audio is done here especially like with the colorway I'm a big fan of black and red so it's one of the reasons why I chose this amp here we have the RCA inputs as well as the rear and front channels which are clearly displayed so you can't get it wrong. Here we have the speaker inputs and the power inputs. Um, you'll see that these round set screws um, They're going to need like a specific type of tool or kit. Um, I'll show you that at the end of the video At the bottom here again. We have the branding as well as the RMS numbers And that's it for the unboxing of the amplifier um, Let me just quickly show you what you need um, when you want to connect this amplifier so here we have a wire ferrule kit and a wire ferrule crimper this wire ferrule kit goes all the way to 8 gauge which is perfect for this amplifier so this is what a ferrule looks like you have the yellow insulated um, G 
jacket so to say and then you have the ferrule itself which is like a tin uh, metal um, and it's very thin um, so it's easy to crimp and it gives you a nice solid connection instead of just the wire itself that would get frayed over time here we have the crimper itself oh yeah no i got this kit from take lot for like 675 rand um i'll leave a link to it down below um if any of you want to get it so basically i'm just going to demonstrate how this works you take your ferrule you are going to insert it into the opening there um, at this point obviously you'd have your wire connected already um, and then you would just crimp the wire and the ferrule together by squeezing on this um, pliers or this crimper and uh, basically this is what it looks like when it's done and it, it's just gonna make things so much easier so i do recommend getting it um so yeah no thank you for watching and if you did enjoy this video please leave a like comment and if you're not yet please do subscribe